Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe out there. Big shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. If you're new, smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification as well. Because as you can see right here, I love doing these videos every single day, documenting my journey with investing with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom, and yes, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come on this incredible journey. We are just getting started, guys. Honestly, it's incredible. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through, it would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people, all right? Because the YouTube algorithm is absolutely magic when you guys do that. All right, let's get straight into a little disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence. I don't want to see anyone get financially hurt. Don't take what I say in these videos as financial advice. And me, my golden rule is I only invest what I can afford to lose. Yes, we don't like to lose, but you can lose money like that, especially in cryptos, all right? So please do your own research. All right, formalities are out of the way. Yes, it's been a pretty chaotic day today, and I'm, yeah, I'm wearing a, a blazer today because I've had a few meetings. But if we go straight to the community tab, ladies and gentlemen, uh, basically I've said, which crypto altcoin do you believe will 50x this year? 70% of you said XRP. I agree with you. Some bullish news on XRP today. Uh, VeChain, 9%. Matic, 7%. XDC, 9%. That's out of 1,400 votes. So there's significant stuff right there. Everybody's commented in here, guys. So uh, go and have a look at it. It's an awesome community. I love talking with everyone in there. Let's go straight into CoinSpot, where I buy my cryptos in Australia. There is a referral link below. You can get $20 in Bitcoin to get you started, but please do your own research, all right? Let's get straight into it. All of these prices are in Australian dollars. Bitcoin's sitting at 61,000. It hasn't dropped below 60K, which is really nice. I'm still bullish on Bitcoin, just adding it to my portfolio. Ethereum, 4,400. XRP is $1.18. Incredibly cheap, down 4.71% right now. I'm going to be adding more because I think there's some incredible stuff coming out next week in regards to this case. And we'll get into that in a second, guys. Cardano is $1.65. Solana, 151. AVAX, 129. Luna, $76. Doge, $0.22. Cents. Dot is at $29. Matic, $2.66. Bullish on Matic. Crows at 73 cents. I think because of the Super Bowl coming up next week on the 14th, we're going to see Crow absolutely go parabolic, as well as a few other big coins as well that are probably going to be throwing uh, Super Bowl ads in there. Link $25 near Protocol 17. We've got Algo to $1.40. Mana $4.67. You've got XLM at 33 cents. Bullish on that, guys. Uh, Sandbox $6.49. Hedera as well, 35 cents. That is incredibly cheap for what the project is doing right now. V Chain is at 9 cents. I'm bullish on V Chain. Everyone knows that. Keeps growing down here, guys. IOTA $1.63. You've got EOS at $3.67. Sorry, Harmony one thirty cents. Bullish on Harmony one as well. Gale is 48. I'm going to keep scrolling down here, guys. Neo $34. And we'll keep scrolling down to my favorite, which is XDC. And it's dropped significantly, guys, but 9 cents. There's been an incredible partnership announced with xdc so we'll get into that now look at all these news updates guys it's never a dull moment in crypto look at all the news it's unbelievable crypto bubbles let's re refresh today on the day theta is up 22 percent i've got that in obviously cold storage guys because i think theta is going to be a monster project they have got a significant amount of patents uh with their technology and their project and they've also got big partnerships with creative artists uh arts agency sorry caa in the united states which huge entertainment firm guys theta fuel saitama's down 20 percent um the only meme coins i i mean dog coins are shiba inu and doge they're the only ones that i've invested in so no idea what saitama is and that's pretty much it the only one that's green now i can just see it is dfi and x x y m don't know what that one is, guys, but again, crazy stuff. Anyway, so you've had the US inflation hits Bitcoin and broader crypto market. The inflation figures came out today, which were pretty full on, guys. I mean, I saw on the news just before, you know, throughout the day, there was about 7.5%, which is ridiculous. Um, apparently, that's the highest it's been, you know, in the last, since 40 years ago. So significant inflation rates there, and it has affected the entire stock market and crypto market. I know that for a fact. I mean, my stock portfolio is down significantly today as well. But guys, some really bullish news here about this case with XRP and Ripple. I know I talk about it a lot on this channel because I think it's an incredible opportunity and there's a lot of information coming out and that is yet to come out next week on the 17th. I think we're going to see a major win for Ripple, guys. Really, in this information that's coming, it's going to be incredible. So Ripple stands to win the battle over fair notice defense amid SEC's backfire. So Ripple has filed, this was uh, yesterday, I believe it was, regarding the SEC's motion to strike fair notice defense, affirmative defense to oppose the SEC's inappropriate request for judicial notice 
and to address the SEC's misleading characterization of its prior enforcement actions. The SEC has previously previously asserted that Ripple's fair notice defense fails because prior to suing Ripple, the SEC had already bought more than 70 cases that subjected other digital assets to the application of the federal securities law. 70 applications. And this is going to be an incredible one for Ripple, guys. Honestly, I think it's going to be dismissed and they're going to win the case. That's just from what I gather from all this stuff coming out in the news. The agency also cited that in May 2021 report uh, by Cornerstone Research distributed after Ripple filed its opposition brief and requested the court to take judicial notice of the SEC complaints, which the report characterizes as cryptocurrency enforcement actions. So again, in a response that Ripple stated in the surply amid its justified here in, in order to tackle the SEC's inappropriately premature request for this court to conclude as a factual matter, the market participants had fair notice that XRP would be considered a security. The enforcement actions cited in the report do not actually support the SEC's argument in the first place. The Ripple Council um, argued, adding that not one of those cases alleged a violation of Section 5s of the registration requirements for the scale sale sorry, of digital assets outside the context of an ICO. The court should deny the SEC's request for judicial notice and disregard the SEC's attempt to rely on disputed facts to foreclose legally cognizable defense. Pretty intense legal stuff here guys so i'm not going to get into this all of this guys but this is the 75 cryptocurrency enforcement actions so they've gone after all these companies here which is pretty incredible stuff right here guys so unbelievable um anyway so again 17th of february is um what we're looking for here because i think this is going to be a pretty incredible date for everyone to keep an eye on guys and again xrp climbs 50 percent amid ssc case developments and seesaw protocol pre-sale up 600 i don't know what that is but anyway just it's it's just mind-blowing to think that xrp can go so far in such a short amount of time uh you know just from three documents already being released and now there's a new information that's just come to light as well where they i'll get into that in twitter in a second so stick around for that you've got binance here making a 200 million dollar strategic strategic investment in forbes unbelievable guys it's not the first crypto firm to make media play but just over a year ago binance was suing forbes so guys now they're buying into forbes so that is insane 200 million dollar investment uh this is a ripples official takeaway from the senate committee hearing on crypto assets so this is interesting as well i'm not going to get into this article here but some interesting st stuff here guys in relation to the senate hearing uh, in the united states so today's hearing a senate ag was clear indication that both sides uh, the aisle and are interested in crypto and looking to collaborate on fostering innovation and protecting consumers. So this is going to be interesting to see what the government does over there. This is bullish as well. This is a major partnership with XDC and Sinfin. Um, I've been talking about XDC for a long time and Sinfin on this channel. I love it. It's very undervalued. So check this out. Kinesis money integrates with XDC network uh, and Red Ready's cross-chain bridge to develop thriving digital asset ecosystem guys now so singapore access wire february 22 uh, sorry february 10 2022 sinfin creators xdc network a highly interoperable blockchain platform positions its support global trade uh, and finance today announces partnership with kinesis money a global trading and utility platform catering for both precious metals and digital assets now Precious metals, man, that's incredible. Check this platform out. I've got to look into it a lot more, but guys, so basically you can trade, uh, so mint, like actual gold and silver assets here backed by these two um, coins here, KAU and KAG. So minting is the process by bringing new physical gold and silver bullion into the Kinesis system and creating an entirely new KAU and KEG. So Kinesis gold in circulation is 79.67 million. 1.39 grams so that's backed by actual physical gold and silver and obviously 48 million dollars here in silver so 2.02 ounces um, of silver so this is incredible so i'm going to look more into this pro or you know into this software right here in this app manage your money with gold and silver so i don't know if it's legitimate but i'm going to look into but this is incredible because you can buy these assets here and it's backed by gold and silver something very different that I wasn't aware of. So I think that's very bullish for XDC guys, really. 
And some other news here in relation to HBAR. I've seen a lot of video uh, people asking, sorry, in relation to HBAR as well. I'm bullish on Hedera. The governing council is absolutely ridiculous. Big corporations here, but they've just launched the Hedera Hashgraph news. So HBAR news. So within a cryptocurrency space, it's safe to say that one of the co uh, that one coin seemed to gain a lot of pre um, press in recent months. The coin is HBAR by Hashgraph. From huge names in their governing council, low transaction costs and a carbon negative footprint with many other benefits to boot. While with all the news rumors floating about the cyberspace, the new followers and retail investors were having a difficult time following the news and updates needed a central place for a decentralized network. So guys, enter HBAR News. This is awesome. So you can keep up to date with all the HBAR News here directly from the source. Really good guys, really, really awesome stuff. I'm not a fan of all these ads. I'm gonna get rid of this stuff because it's really annoying. But anyway, the demise of blockchains here, Hedera gone wild, really cool. So I'm bullish on that guys. And it's got all the NFT stuff on here as well. Um, all stuff to do with the metaverse here, Google friend or foe, Google and Hedera guys, I've told you they're partnering up there. So that's gonna be mega as well, bullish. Now, what else have we got here, guys? You've got Bitcoin, JP Morgan, uh, re readjust long-term target to $150,000 per Bitcoin, but fair value is set at, I think it's gonna be well and truly over that, guys. So JP Morgan coming out saying it's gonna be 150K USD, which is roughly around about 180 to 190,000 Australian dollars. Now that is gonna be incredible to see that. And uh, so ASX set to fall as Wall Street tumbles highest US inflation in 40 years. Now, this is obviously the reason why we're seeing the downtrend right now. It's affected all markets. Let's go into Twitter right now because there's a heap of stuff going on here, guys. Charles Schwab, 26% of survey traders plan to buy crypto as a hedge against inflation. Watch this space. You've got JP Morgan here again, the 150K prediction. You've got Apple to enable Ethereum and crypto payments with tap and pay by the end of 2022. A lot of um, you know companies are doing that already. Crypto.com's got the debit card that you can use for cryptos. Why anyone would do that? I don't know. I wouldn't do that anyway because you just pay capital gains on it really and all kinds of taxes. So it would be really annoying. So BlackRock expected to offer crypto trading as three euros execs says long term. Let's just have a look at this article, guys. BlackRock, you've got to keep this here, guys. Ethereum in 2022. So concerns over stock market strength are far from universal as crypto correlation to the US equities fails to phase blah, blah, blah. So let's go here. Bitcoin and Ether are, so, are short long bets for 2022. Prominent investor in Kuma, Zhu says. Zhu Su says. Uh, so this is going to be interesting to see what BlackRock do here in terms of crypto trading. BlackRock, for those of you who don't know who they are, go look them up. Two companies control the entire planet, BlackRock and Vanguard. Go and have a look at it. Unbelievable, guys. What else have we got here? This is in relation to XRPL. So this is, thank you very much, Mickey B. Fresh for this. So June th 2013, the after the XRP ledger, AKA Ripple Network was built, Ripple kicked off XRP giveaway, 25,000 beta users to use XRP coins designed primarily to enable trading on Ripple payment network as a currency. The value of XRPs th does not limit its use for payments exactly opposite of an ICO. Bullish guys, five days after giveaway. So. It's not an ICO, it was a giveaway. And again, XRP Ledger was built already before all of this stuff came out, even before XRP came out as well. So they got a lot of financial backers right there. Thank you, Digital Asset Investor, for this tweet. So have a look at this, guys. Hey, Gary Gensler, the CFTC seems to be fine with it, weighing in on specific digital assets. Have a listen to this. There are certainly thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of digital assets and, and cryptocurrencies. So I wouldn't want to identify them collectively. There are certainly a large number of coins that are commodities, including two of the biggest, which are Bitcoin and Ether. But given the vast number, there's no doubt in my mind there are also security coins. That is true. There are a lot of projects out there that are securities, but a lot of them are not securities. So just putting that out there. Thank you very much to XRP Faro here, 33. The XRP rich list just about one year ago compared to today. Incredible, guys. So again, if you're holding uh, 1,800 XRP, you're in the top 10%. Anything above that, guys, it's going to be you know pretty much in the top 10% of XRP holders. Can you believe it? You don't need that much to obviously you know, be in the top percentages here, so which is incredible. Again, goal here is at least six figures. That's going to be quite expensive. But again, 100,000 XRP, you're in the top 0.5% massive that's going to be life-changing guys so some interesting stuff here so this is thank you for seek for this tweet here so blackrock ceo lawrence d fink just endorsed on cnbc the use case of xrp and ripple think about all the people who send money back home 
They do that through organizations that charge five to 10%. I know that for a fact, it's very expensive. There is a need to democratize the exchange of foreign currencies. Have a listen to this. And when you think about all the people who send money, have a listen to this. You know, they may work in one country, send money back home. They generally do that through organizations that charge five to 10%. Yeah. There is a need, whether it's a Libra or something else, to democratize the exchange of foreign currencies. Today with computers and electronic market, there they, shouldn't be that it should be 10 basis points, right. five right. basis right. points, that it's makes not sense. percent. And so I actually believe the idea around Libra, I don't think we need to create a new currency, but the technology to instantaneous uh, calibrate all the currencies, that should be done. And when you think of basically highlighting Ripple there, XRP, that's what it means. And obviously all the banking coins as well, XTC, Sinfin, XLM, sorry, Stella. Um, you've got IOTA and Algorand as well and Quant. So keep that in mind. Now, this is really interesting in relation to this case. So thank you. Um, this is basically just crypto law. So thank you for this. And uh, can't even print it. Wrath of Kahneman. Thank you for this tweet. So the amazing the SEC commissioner, Royceman, told Brad Garlinghouse that XRP was not a security. According to Brad's deposition, he was not, not the chair, but was sitting commissioner. Also deep, deeply troubling, guys. So check this out here. In meetings with commissioners, did any of the commissioners tell you that they did not believe that XRP is a security? A, yes. Question, who? This is interesting, guys. So again, I recall Commissioner Royceman very specifically saying, I'm sorry you've even had to come here. I think that the confusion about the status of XRP he viewed as not healthy for the market. Of course, I I did I don't I recall less about the meeting with uh, Commissioner Pierce. So again, there you go. They told him a sitting commissioner said that XRP wasn't a security. Guys, I'm telling you, man, come sep September, oh, sorry, September, February 17th. Watch what's going to happen here. I think we're going to see an incredible move with XRP. Something even more parabolic than we've seen a couple of days ago. I'm bullish as ever, guys. So again, very interesting here. Just added to our document document library. Motion by Brad Garlinghouse to compel the SEC to produce notes by our outgoing staffer, Matthew Estabrook here in 2018. Uh, Commissioner Royceman Garlinghouse, where XRP was discussed, plus exhibits one to four. So this is pretty full on here. There's a lot of exhibits in here in this request. Full on, guys. I mean, the, the SEC is just seriously, you know, playing hardball, not wanting to release any of this information. And look at all the ex ex exhibits right here in front of you. Incredible. So we'll keep an eye on this space because I think I'm very bullish on this. Disney CEO, we want to bring a great Metaverse, guys. Metaverse projects are seriously undervalued right now. We're very early in this space. So keep an eye on the Metaverse projects, the graph, you know, Sandbox, Mana, all these projects here, even some other ones, Ocean Protocol as well. Um, BTT, Sia Coin. Keep an eye on those ones because I think we're going to see some pretty incredible stuff for you guys. And again, another tweet here from Bank XRP. Thank you. Ripple stands to win the battle over Fair Notice amid SEC's backfire. So that's awesome news. HBAR does similar run like XRP did back in 2017 and 18. We could see uh, we would be at $4.33 per HBAR. My target is $3 to $6. Target remains the same, have not changed. That's incredible as well. Blockworks, Binance invests $200 million in a 104-year-old magazine, Forbes. So just in the CPI, inflation hits 7.5%. That's devastating, guys. That's having a major effect around the world for global economies. And uh, let's have a look here. Breaking, Ripple's files led a motion to compel the SEC to turn over notes regarding 2018 meeting between Brad Garlinghouse and Roisman. The SEC refuses, claiming they are privileged. Why? Because they know that it's going to jeopardize this case bullish guys and again this is the incredible partnership here with the um uh sorry here we go uh what's the company called kinesis monetary fund here guys or program here it's incredible as well so bullish on xdc on you know how good is that you can actually buy these assets and they're backed by gold and silver actual gold and silver but i'd like to see that physically so it'd be pretty cool guys so bullish on xdc star atlas here they're dropping new ships i'm bullish on star atlas gaming's going to be huge YouTube here hints that verifying NFTs and watching games in the metaverse is its uh, in its platform here, guys. YouTube is incredible as well, so keep an eye on this one as well. El Salvador Finance Minister bonds to, to be issued as soon as March 15. Institutional money, you know, global money is going to be entering crypto, guys. So this is going to be incredible. Fear and greed index as of 16 hours ago. Let's just have a look and see where it's at at the moment. 
five hours ago, it's still at 50, so I'm very bullish about that. What else we got here, guys? And here's the Kinesis and Sinfin partnership here with XDC, very bullish. And you've got here, JP Morgan, NFTs will likely dominate the digital asset universe in the future. Incredible news today, guys. Really bullish. My three commas trading bot, link below, and I'll put up a video on how to set up a dollar cost averaging bot. has been nice. It's actually awoken here. It's made me $96 in profits USD, 40 cents today. Again, I've got one bot set up here, taking 10 USD tether buys, 15 USD tether safety orders, five safety orders, 15 deals. Really nice. Block Party, USD Tether to Binance.com signal. I'm paying for that every month, about $25. Not really that much considering the profits it's making. Um, so again, I've got my deals here. I'm just going to let them sit here and do their thing. I've got a couple here that are down significantly, like 39%. Regardless, still bullish. Let's have a look at coin market cap today. Total market cap, $1.9 trillion, guys. $114 billion in trading volume. That's a lot of money. 41% uh, BTC, 18% Ethereum, 17,500 cryptocurrencies. It's gone up 100 overnight. So Theta here is booming. Celsius, Theta Network, Audius, Zcash, and that's pretty much it for the gainers. Quick scroll through my portfolio here so you can see what I'm holding. Okay, Bitcoin sitting at $43,000. Still, guys, bullish. It hasn't dropped below the 40K, which is really nice. Uh, XRP is at 82 cents USD. Very bullish on that, guys. Let's have a look. Cardano is at $1.14. Dogecoin, 15 cents. Shiba Inu is up as well. Polygon Matic, near protocol. I'm keeping an eye on because I think that's going to be a big project in the future and I have to do a few more videos on it. Tron, Mana, Stellar, XLM, Banking Coin. Can't complain about that. Sandbox, Hedera as well. This is going to be a monster project, guys. It really is. And I think we're easily going to see those you know, dollar values very soon. Theta, VeChain as well. And bullish on six cents. Come on, it's so cheap. Harmony One, 20 cents, guys. Gala, BTT, The Graph, Neo, Amp, Oasis Rose, Theta Fuel, Ecomi as well. I'm bullish on. I've got a bag of that. I've been holding it since early last year. I think it's going to be incredible. Holochain, XDC as well. Six cents USD. That is incredible. So cheap. Anchor, Sea Coin, Ravain. Telcoin, Nervos Network, Super Farm, Digibyte, UFO Gaming, Winlink, XYO, MetaHero, Reserve Rights, Constellation Dag, Reef. I'm still dollar cost averaging into a, building up a big bag of that because I think when DeFi hits and all the banking stuff happens towards the end of this year, we're going to see Reef absolutely fly. And it is on Polkadot as well. So that's incredible. Uh, Vthor, Veracity, I'm holding stake in that on CoinSpot, Electronium. Digital Pound Foundation, come on, it's a no-brainer for me anyway. XPR, Star Atlas Gaming is going to be massive. Kin, Acropolis Gas, Ubix Network, Olympus Dow, I think is a rug pull. Anyway, Pitbull, and that's pretty much it. That is all my portfolio. So if you're looking for stuff, do your own research, but this is what I'm holding. I think these are flyers anyway. They're mostly blue chip companies and projects. That's pretty much it, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you think about XRP. And February 17th is next week. It's going to be massive as well as the Super Bowl. Keep an eye on all the uh, crow.com and all that kind of stuff with the uh, Super Bowl ads. I think it's going to be an incredible pump. Just be careful out there, all right? Stay safe, guys. Peace. Bye.